topic of our very first uh, Do It uh, webinar for practitioners and others who are interested in uh, supporting uh, these young social entrepreneurs. Uh, the to our topic is the requir requirements of children in school settings. Uh, our guests here are uh, Roberto Dovic. He is from uh, Zagreb and uh, he has been a big part of Do It pilot activities. And um, uh, our second guest is uh, Christian uh, from uh, Biotechna Lab. He has been working as the head of mentors and also working with the artists in the lab. So uh, like uh, with special needs and all kind of youth, uh, there are different kind of backgrounds. And one of the backgrounds is, of course, uh, less privileged maybe than other families. So would you say that that is one of the techniques that could be um, used to make the do-it approach more ap approachable for those kind of youth? Christian, or um, I, I can add yes. Um, we also deal with the less privileged uh, surroundings, and and and, and uh, I think uh, Christian mentioned this. It's about creativity. How to creatively use something, some resource you got. It's not about high expensive uh, tools and how to use them. Interestingly, uh, interesting, uh, but also how to use those very ordinary stuff and how to transform with your creativity to something new. And this is what we try to achieve, I believe, in do it uh, uh, activities and do it workshops. And I think this is also entrepreneurial because you make something from nothing. And this is what make you good entrepreneur also it's not problem to make something from already good uh, and lot of uh, resources but if you don't have a resources and you make something from these low resources i think this is very inter entrepreneurial yeah I, I agree with roberto we we also well from one point, we don't really have, um, because we're based in Ljubljana and uh, all, most of our workshops are also based in Ljubljana. So we have kids that are from the city center or from the city. So we don't really have non-privileged kids or how I, I would call them. But what we also try to, to, to teach them the upcycling um, system of the how to reuse something that you would throw it away. So we also use what we started with electronics, let's say most of the, most of our cables are from the old uh, computers from the inside core stuff. Um, so yeah, we also used I don't know CD ROMs for to make a microscope for for your mobile phone um, because it, there's a lens inside. Blah blah blah. <laughs> but um, the the other thing that is also I think uh, very important in thinking about how to use stuff and um, what to do from what you have um, is set of workshops that we have from uh, DIY bio concept. Because all of the DIY bio concept, concept as it started also with maker spaces, um, they built what they had. And the DIY bio scene at the moment is at this point where you have everything in the kitchen. So you don't really need anything extra for some uh, some low level um, experiments or low level um, teaching. So we also use a lot of these techniques um, to help how to grow bacteria, what are bacteria, to teach them about microbiology, um, genetics, and, and and other fields. Just to add something, uh, yeah. what what is pop up to my mind uh, because we have this. Uh, Mm, situ uh, not situation, but uh, we were one of the partner who work also with the kids with the special needs, and uh, uh, it was question, and it's always pop up question what what specific it should be done for for those kids, and uh, usually some of those are uh, in this category because of the some problems with the teaching and so on mm -hmm. but uh, our experience and what we try to implement and that was in coordination with also with the uh, evaluation uh, partner and so on so we just mix uh, those kids and kids uh, or other kids uh, together to work together and uh, I was really surprised uh, after uh, phase one 
because uh, teacher uh, who work with uh, those kids were surprised because they keep concentration they were able to follow uh, we have a very intensive workshops and uh, they were very skeptical if they will able to work together for i don't know 30 40 minutes but we work for hours together and they are actually going back to 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 workplace to 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 classroom to start working uh, when we have some 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 breaks so they were uh, really engaged and so so uh my uh my opinion is that uh we just work together with all uh in the same way we don't separate them or we don't make very uh, specific but we take more care and this is purpose of facilitator that you are more carefully and looking if they are if those kids are can follow if uh, you can maybe motivate them more uh, maybe you talk with them more maybe you give them some 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 specific task to keep them motivated but don't make anything special for them if it's of course uh, needed uh, from because of some physical requirements or something like that so this is my purpose usually uh, they are somehow emphasized as a special need but actually they can at least from our point of view they can work very well together with others if this way of teaching is differently so if they are participating in the teaching in in their learning they can follow this if they are just uh, listen to the teacher then they are they have problem with the following this so this is also very good for maybe those kids who are not capable to follow regular teaching those kind of uh, workshops are very well also to 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 include them and to involve them in 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 learning which is a little bit different so they can fit uh, with their dynamics into the group and group can also benefit from from them and they we have a very interesting proposal from from those kids and whole group work on their problems uh, so so this is something what i want to say because this is some kind of special requirements so so this is what this new kind of teaching and what Christian and I try to promote, it's not about tools, it's about pro how to transfer knowledge and how to learn together and co-work together on the projects. And then you don't have problem with the kids with special needs, not so much problems. And just, just from, from, just maybe from, from very uh, specific topic, but, uh, I think it's very uh, important uh, for the promotion of whole idea and and uh, to to maybe some facilitators can understand how to deal with maybe those kids who has who needs more requirements and and uh, this new way of teaching and doing uh, learning by doing and making a project based uh, teaching is the way how to deal with with those kids. Uh, Christian, do you have anything to add from your experiences? Well, I agree with, with, with Roberto. He also um, has a small um, small amount of experiences with, uh, with dealing with uh, with special kids or kids with special needs. And we have one institute here the, in Ljubljana that, uh, that also works with them. Um, so we worked with them. Um, and yeah, it, it was the same as he explained in the beginning when, when we got, when we started to talk with them to have a workshop with them um their mentors teachers whatever they they are called um told us that yeah it won't be possible because they cannot do this they cannot do that but when we started to, to work with them with hands-on diy do, do it together do it yourself concepts it's uh they made everything till the end it was great for them they really enjoyed it they learned a lot and of course the, their teachers was really impressed that they could do something like that on their own but then in the end after a year when we talked to them again they said that yeah we're more than welcome but when we asked them if they change anything they said yeah they have too much stuff to do this they cannot which i also understand of course because they have a lot of stuff to do it's not it's not a small amount 
but yeah, with this uh, with this um, approaches, you can really um, kids can learn more than they do at the moment. So that's better for everybody. Yeah. So we'll we'll have to keep working at it to create positive change. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for attending and have a good afternoon. Yeah, thank you, Auntie, for inviting us. Yeah, thank you. And see you maybe on some other webinar.